Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute beanie. So what you're going to need to start out with um, for making this beanie is you're going to need some yarn. So what I'm using here is the Lion Brand Yarn, the Wool Ease. It's um, a really thick, bulky yarn, a size 6. And um, you're going to need the 9mm crochet hook um, for this yarn. And it says it right on the package. And um, if it's confusing at all, I'll put what I use down in the uh, my affiliate link down in the comments below. So you can see exactly what kind of yarn I actually use for this. So I've got my 9mm crochet hook. Of course, I'm going to need my... Um, yarn needle i'm going to need my measuring tape you may or may not need a um a stitch marker and then i'm going to need my size chart so i'm going to make this to the adult medium size which is about 20 inches long so what i'm doing here is i'm just doing a chain so i'm making a slip knot and i'm doing a chain so the adult medium um i'm going to need to chain to about seven and a half inches and um so right here, adult medium, seven and a half inches. And um, again, my finished size is going to be 20 inches um, wide, I guess you would say. So I'm gonna do seven and a half inches long maybe, and then uh, 20 inches wide. So here, I'm just measuring it. I'm not quite long enough yet. Um, you can stretch it out a little bit to get your length. So I need about probably three more stitches to get the length that I want. So it's nice and stretchy, and I really like that. That'll be really great for when someone's wearing it. So that's about what I need right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in that second chain from the hook, and I'm just going to half double crochet all the way down. So just half double crochet all the way down in that second chain from the hook. work in this front loop only so I'm just gonna go back and forth now each time working in the front loop only so this front loop right here so again as you can see there I'm working back and forth and I'm just doing one half double crochet but I'm putting it in the front loop only there so I'm just doing one half double crochet all the way down putting it in that front loop only and um, if you um, don't know how to do that. I have a video on that and I will um, put a card that um, links that video and I'll put that in the description below also so you can see how to work in the front and back loop of a stitch. Thank you. 
And guys, as you can see, I sped this up because um, I just didn't want you guys to be super, super bored. Um, my yarn here is a hot mess because I had to frog like a whole other project. So, um, so you'll see me straightening out my yarn quite a bit. I just took a whole other project apart and then I was really frustrated to put the yarn down for a little while and then decided to do this project with it.
And guys, if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. That would really mean the world to me. So now I'm getting to the length that I need. So I'm getting that to that 20 inch length. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my two ends together and it doesn't really matter which side you do. Um, it's really the same front or back for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, do my chain one, which I've already done. And then I'm gonna go through the back loop on my first and on my first side and I'm going to go through the back loop on my second side and I'm just going to slip stitch all the way down so I'm just going to pull through all the loops and um, I'm going to do this all the way down so I'm just going to continue to go through the back loop on one side back loop to the other side and I'm um, grab my yarn and just slip stitch all the way down here and um, that's one reason it's good to um, know how many chains that you have so you make sure that you um, don't accidentally add a chain or I mean add a stitch or take away a stitch that way you have even numbers on um, both sides when you um, go to stitch this up and again if you didn't want to stitch this up this way you could always use um, your yarn needle and stitch it up like that you don't have to do it this way And now that I'm done stitching this up, I'm just going to chain one and now I'm going to turn it inside out. So that part is on the actual inside. So here I'm just turning my beanie inside out. 
So this is what you're going to see on the outside now. And I like it. It looks cute. So let's do one half double crochet all the way around. Now, so you're going to work in those ends and you're just going to put one half double crochet in each of those ends all the way around here. Um, sometimes it can get a little weird and you may have to do more than one. If it looks like it's bunching up or pulling it too tight, you may have to do more than one half double crochet per end. But um, you just want to make sure it looks nice and even all the way around. And then when you get back to where you started the first half double crochet you made, you're just going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet and then you're going to um, tie off your tie off your yarn and um, weave in your end. So now I'm just slip stitching to that first half double crochet that I made and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm just going to tie it off there, weave it in really quick. I like to go ahead and weave it in now that way I don't have to do it later. I hate weaving in ends dude. So I like to get it done as soon as I possibly can. So you just kind of move this back and forth in and out just so it gets good and um, good and solid in your stitches there so it won't pull out. And if you go over the ones that you've already done, um, it'll make it set in place better. So here I'm just working it in, making sure it doesn't come undone there. So here I'm just kind of working it around again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my yarn needle and some of my yarn here and I'm just going to thread my yarn needle. Now this is a bulky yarn so it can be a little bit hard to thread that. Um, there is a thing that they make that you, helps you thread but I'm going to try it without. Hopefully you know I'll get lucky here and be able to thread it. So I was able to thread it so that's really great news. Now um, what something I could have done is left a long tail to begin with. If I had left a long tail to begin with, I wouldn't have to attach this, but that's okay. Um, I didn't leave a long tail to begin with, so this is how I'm going to attach it now. So I'm going to take one of the loops from the inside and I'm just going to um, tie a knot here and um, tie a knot here so that doesn't come out. And I'm going to tie it really, really tight. And now all I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to work this around all the way around just like that. So you just go in and out all the way around and you do pretty much one per half double crochet is what I'm doing here. And so you just do that again and again and again.
And I'm just doing that over and over again until I get all the way back to where I started, which is where I'm at right now, pretty much. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to pull it tight. And sometimes you have to work it around a little bit to pull it tight enough. So just work it around um, a little bit there. You could do this as you go to. I just never think about it beforehand. So you're just pulling that super, super tight all the way around. And you're going to get your yarn needle now and kind of work it in a little bit again there. Pulling that tight. And so here I'm just going through Kind of the middle there is where i'm going to go through so here i'm going to try to pull this again just as tight as i can pull it and i'm going to make a little knot right here at the top to hold it because i don't want it to come loose Okay, so I got these pom-poms. I ordered them from Amazon. They're super, super cute. And it came with a bag um, with a bunch of different colors. So here I'm just going to cut off my uh, yarn right here and um, put it to the side. I didn't need it that long. And I'm going to grab the yarn and my little pom-pom. I call them poofs all the time. So the cool thing about this is, is that these have these little like rubber bands on them. So you can stick your hook right through it so that makes it super super easy to attach so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull my yarn through the um the little uh rubber band thing that comes on this uh poof or pom-pom i should say and i'm going to pull that um through to the other side And when I get it to the other side, I'm just going to um, really tighten it really, really well. And then I'm going to make a knot in it so it doesn't come loose. So I'm going to secure it really well. And also, I'm going to obviously I'm going to tie another knot there too. But you also might want to put like maybe some fabric. Um, glue something like that on the back of it just to make sure it is really tight and that it doesn't come undone i really love those little fur pom-poms i think they're just so super super cute and i thought it would look great with this and i was right it does look great with that i've seen some people take like a hair dryer and kind of blow that out so i think that's what i'm going to do with this later is take a little hair dryer blow that out so um, it's really really nice and fluffy there um, I hope you guys enjoyed making this with me. Um, subscribe to my channel, guys, and um, happy hooking, everybody.